Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira administration tutorial, I'm going to discuss about very important feature of Jira, which is schemes. This will be overview of scheme and scheme is a very vast topic and I'll cover every bit and detail of schemes in upcoming tutorials. But here I'll touch base about high level schemes and then I'll also cover some of the important interview questions and certification questions that will be helpful in the end of this particular video. So when we talk about schemes in Jira, what exactly schemes are? So when we say schemes, schemes is nothing but you can say a collection of configurations. All right. So for example, I'll just visually say we are defining a workflow in Jira, right? So a workflow, when we say scheme, workflow scheme. All right. So let's say, so there are multiple schemes, but I'll say workflow scheme. Let's talk about scheme and especially workflow scheme. So workflow scheme is a set of collection of configuration. So if say, for example, I'll say, okay, workflow one has the statuses to do in progress and done, right? So three statuses. And then there is a bi-directional that issues can basically go ahead and move in any of these states or statuses. Now, this is one of the scheme. Now scheme, the, this is workflow scheme. This is specific to workflow, which has certain statuses and the transitions. This is set of configuration. This can be basically now applied to multiple projects. Okay. So for example, the same configuration, the same scheme can be applied to project one, to project two, to project three. Okay. Now what exactly happens in this particular case? This is a common workflow scheme that was designed or defined by the Jira administrator. And when you assign it to different projects, it's a set of different configurations, specifically the workflow that gets assigned to different projects. And each of these projects will then be able to use this scheme of the workflow. So basically all the issues in project one will follow the same workflow that is defined in here in this particular scheme. Project two will also project two issues will also follow the same workflow project three issues will also follow the same workflow so this is basically what scheme is is a set of configuration and here i'm taking workflow example but there are multiple schemes for example issues notifications issue security so there are multiple schemes overall there are seven six are always present in co company managed project and i'll cover that in the interview questions once i finish this particular uh, explanation so you can see that scheme set of configuration can be created and then shared across multiple projects by the jira administrator what are the advantages of having schemes the advantage is that it reduces the overhead right now when we say there are you are a large enterprise for example with hundreds of jira projects if all of the projects go ahead and start creating the team managed project it will be a big clutter to manage every team is going ahead and managing doing whatever they like within Jira there is no consistency across enterprise Jira now in that particular case company managed projects and schemes come in picture because Jira admin can then go ahead define schemes and associate those schemes with different projects who have more or less similar scheme requirement or consistent scheme requirement defined at the enterprise level okay so that helps team to basically go ahead and have a consistent look and feel across different projects if people even if people are moving from one project to other when they go ahead and open and use jira it will be more of a consistent look in terms of issues that they see in terms of workflows that they use in terms of the fields that they see on the screens right so that's one of the advantage what is the disadvantage the disadvantage is that it reduces the flexibility now if say for example project one doesn't want to use this particular flow right workflow they do have the flexibility their jira admin can go ahead and create a new workflow and associate to project one but there is again an extra overhead for jira administrator then they have to coordinate with just that one project who has a specific requirement to have a defined a different workflow and associated with that so it, it's kind of a more overhead for jira administrator when a specific project looks for more customized approach in terms of workflows or issues or issue fields or different components within jira so that's the disadvantage disadvantage so now 
let's go and understand what are the defaults. So now when we talk about scheme, they are specifically available for company managed projects. Okay, so only company managed, company managed projects will have schemes and schemes can be only created and attached to the projects by Jira admin. All right, so Jira and only Jira admin can do this. Why? Because these are the shared ones and if 50 projects are using and every project is given the admin functionality to manage their schemes. If you change anything in here in this particular scheme, it is going to impact all the 50 projects which are referring to this particular scheme, right? So this is basically one of the key detail. Now, whenever a company managed projects is created, there are six schemes by default that are associated to the company managed project and I'll cover that in the interview section and then there is one optional scheme that is present as well okay so that optional field is basically depending on project requirement that can be basically enabled now how you can see the scheme so for example here team managed software or project they won't be having any of the scheme but if you go to the company managed software I'll show you how the schemes will look like and in the company managed software you will see that if I go to project settings usually I can go to the Jira settings in the right hand side cogwheel as well but I just want to go to the project and show you so here you'll see the notifications and then you have issues, workflows, etc. So if I go to the workflows, you will see that there will be a scheme associated, right? So you'll see that RCVAP, this is software simplified workflow scheme, right? So this is associated, this scheme, the workflow scheme is associated to this particular project. Similarly, for the screens, there will be a scheme associated. Scrum issue type screen scheme is associated. Now, if I want to go ahead and use a different scheme or edit the screen, I can go ahead and edit and use a different scheme. If I click on use different screen, I can go ahead and see what all different scheme are there and then associate that, right? If you want to go ahead and see in detail all the different schemes go to the right hand cog wheel go to settings and then here we'll go to issues right so here we'll go and see different so you'll see that issue types issue type scheme all right then you have this workflow below there you have the workflow so the workflow scheme workflow scheme then issue type screen scheme field configuration scheme priority schemes right and then issue security scheme notification scheme permission scheme all right so now let's go ahead we have seen different schemes here and only Jira admin can manage and associate these schemes. Let's see some of the important interview questions around scheme. So the first thing is, can schemes be reused across multiple team managed and company managed projects? All right. Now we understood that schemes are only available for company managed projects. They are not available for team managed projects. So the answer is no. The schemes can be reused in company managed projects. But if there is a question where, which asks, can they be reused in team managed and company managed? No, right? Because team managed project doesn't have the schemes. Now, which scheme is optional in Jira company? managed projects. Now the optional scheme that is in the Jira company managed project is issue security scheme. This is the seventh scheme. By default there are six schemes which is basically here which is the third question. Which schemes are always included in a company managed project? So whenever you create a company managed project you will always find these six schemes always present. Issue type scheme, permission scheme, notification, field configuration, workflow and issue type screen scheme. Now out of these six field configuration scheme, workflow scheme and issue type screen scheme can be associated to each issue type, right? So they can be different for each issue type within Jira and I'll cover that in the advanced videos, but these can work at the issue level as well at a more granular level as well. You can have field configuration scheme same for all the issues or for different issue type, you can have different field configuration scheme. Similarly for workflow scheme, to give you a brief example, for example, bug follows a different workflow, right? And all other issue types can follow different workflow. So you can have workflow scheme associated, different workflow scheme for different issue types, right? And similarly, issue type screen scheme is also true for different issue types. You can have different issue type screen scheme. So these are the six that are always included in company managed project. One of the interview question or the certification question. And then the optional one is issue security scheme. 
which can be enabled if required by the Jira admin. Okay. Now, the last question is, I have already covered that. Who can create and modify schemes and associate them with the project? Only Jira administrators can do that. Not even the Jira project admins. So, for example, you are the project administrator, then that doesn't mean you are a Jira administrator, right? So, as a project administrator, you can see what scheme is applied but you cannot go ahead and modify the scheme and associate it with the company managed project that you are managing as a jira project administrator there is a difference between jira project administrator and jira administrator so you have to keep that in mind only jira admins can create and modify schemes and associate them with the project because these are at a root level kind of they will be shared across multiple projects so it's a big sort of responsibility when we talk about schemes and associate them with the different projects within your organization because any change in one of the scheme can impact with all the projects which are sharing that particular scheme all right so that's all for this video on schemes introduction this is just a brief basic of scheme but i am pretty sure it will give you a very high level and good understanding of schemes so you when we go deeper into the schemes and learn everything in detail you will grasp all those concepts very easily so that's all for this video see you in the next lecture Sure.